Um, earlier on the show, we were talking about anterior cruciate ligament injuries, and in uh, female basketball players, this is an injury that has been said to be two to four times higher in females than in men. Can you explain some of the reasons for that difference? Yeah, I, there are a lot of theories as to why, and I think we still don't know for certain why it's more common in, in women than men. Specifically, it's more common in women and girls in the non-contact injuries. So someone who's running down a field or running down the court goes to plant, twist, and the knee goes. And it's probably a combination of what's called their neuromuscular development, so the way that their brain controls uh, muscular firing around the knees. Um, it can be related to fitness. It can be related to fatigue. Uh, changes in alignment of the hip and the knee and the ankle that happen as a girl goes through puberty. So the, the angle from the hip to the knee to the ankle changes as the pelvis gets wider when someone goes through puberty. There are theories that changes in hormone levels may play a role, but I think that's the one that's probably the least um, proven at this point. Um, and so it's really what you call multifactorial. There are lots of things that play a role. The other thing that's clear is it's based on exposure. So if you do something 10 times or you do something 1,000 times, the person who does it 1,000 times has an increased risk simply based on that same planting, pivoting motion that they do over and over again. And I think that may play a role in some of the high school uh, athletes' injuries where they've gone from participating at a lower level to suddenly playing on a daily basis in multiple tournaments where suddenly their exposure rate goes up, and that alone may make a difference in the female athletes.